Hold on a second, let me make this contact before I start this video. Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee, Zulu, India. Kilo Juliet 4, uh, Yankee, Zulu, India. That's, uh, that's a really nice call sign. Uh, good afternoon. This is Tango Italy 2, stroke uh, Kilo Charlie 2, Mike X-Ray Hotel. The name here is Javier, Juliet Alpha, Victor, India, Echo Romeo. And I'm in San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica. Kyoto. Hey Roger, Javier. Well, name is Eric. I'm here in Florida. I just turned the uh, radio on. I always check 10 meters first and foremost, and there you were. You got a good signal here into Florida, uh, about a 5.7. It was peaking at a 5.9, and just wanted to make the contact and uh, make sure my station's working. Over. Well, Eric, let me tell you, I've been watching your videos for a very, very <laughs> long time. I'm pretty sure that the day was going to come that I was going to talk to you on the radio. I always watch your videos. Every one of you, I'm one of your subscribers. Uh, very interesting and cool videos. Um, I actually asked a question a couple a couple of months ago about uh, the 7300 and a FC uh, 991 Alpha. You brought me here, Eric, 5x9, 5x9 here in San Jose. Um, I got the call from New York because I used to live in Eastern Long Island, New York. Uh, but I've uh, been down here for the last uh, three and a half years and for regulations, uh, the other calls that I have here in Costa Rica doesn't allow me to work uh, uh, 20 to 10 meters. But let me tell you, which uh, I'm kind of curious, which antenna you use? Are you using your vertical antenna for 10 meters? Well, Javier, it's funny that you say that. First of all, you, you are a solid 5.9 now, and I'm actually making a video right now. I was going to show one of the features on the 7300, so hopefully you're, uh, you, you don't mind being a superstar on the video, my friend. And yes, yeah, so I'm using the 7300. I'm using my uh, high gain AV680, 9-band vertical, no tuner. My SWR is completely flat right here. It is a solid 1.0 to 1 right here. So uh, just 100 watts with the radio. Over. Okay, Eric, uh, you're 5 and 9 here. 5 and 9 with a very strong audio. I was uh, working some stations in South America. I work uh, uh, Uruguay, Brazil, and decided to be a more antenna to the north. And uh, there you were. I work Norway today on 20 meters uh, with just 90 watts. Uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, I was hearing some Russian station, uh, but uh, look, I got, we got some propagation going. We just got to be there at the right time. And uh, absolutely, uh, call me if you ever hear me on the radio. Uh, give me a hour. I'm usually uh, 70 meters in the afternoon. Uh, and if it's 10 meters open, I'll be up 10 meters. Eric, pleasure. I'll work you again. Uh, have a good afternoon. And uh, I'll be looking forward to get you down the lock. Kilo Julia 4, Janky uh, Zulu India, Tango Italy 2, slash. Kilo Charlie 2, Mike X-Ray Hotel, San Jose, Costa Rica. 73 is so long and good yet, Eric. Hey, Javier, thank you. I'm glad I just decided to make one contact before I started for the day. So uh, thank you for being there. And 73, and uh, we'll do it again next time. KJ4, why is the eye clear? Okay, Eric. So long and uh, uh, plug in. Uh, pleasure, uh, pleasure is mine. 73 for Costa Rica. Okay, so pretty cool. I just, I always go to 10 meters first, and I wanted to try to make a contact real quick. He was booming in there. Javier is a, a viewer, so great to uh, make another contact. 10 meters is one of my favorite bands. Anyway, so one of the quick uh, things I wanted to show you in um, this video, and the next few videos, are some of the features that I've yet to show or actually get familiar using with the 7300. What I mean is... A lot of people have mentioned in my videos, they say, you know, you did a great job on the 7300 video, I have one, but, you know, I didn't, I, I don't use all the bells and whistles, and that's kind of what I've always done. I like having all these options, but I never use them, and when I get bored with something, then I start toying with a couple new things, and, you know, they've commented and said, well, the screen is just the same as it is out of the box, you haven't changed any of the filtering or the waterfall options, well, we'll get into that in some next few videos, but... What I wanted to show you in this video is the SWR graph function. Now, in the menu, you can see up here SWR. Uh, this is great to see the SWR on your antenna across a portion of the band. And you don't even have to disconnect and hook your antenna analyzer to it. You can simply look at this and say, wow, at the lower end of the band, uh, I am uh, more, you know, more in tune and resonant than I am in the upper portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example 
At first, you go in the menu and you click SWR here, okay, and it's going to look like a little uh, bar here, a little screen on the bottom. And there's a couple things. You got your step size over here, so you have 10k, uh, 10 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 100, 500. Okay, we're going to leave it at 10 kilohertz and the bar. The bar is for how many segments you want. So basically, this is how this works. We're going to go to 13 bars. Okay, and I'm going to go to a portion of the band a little bit higher than this because I am very resonant in the lower portion. So we're going to go like this. Let's say I want to see what my antenna is doing from 28.390 to 28.510. Actually, you're higher than that. Here, okay. So we're going to see what the uh, the band is looking like from 28.541 to 29.141. And all you do is hit the play button and you're going to key the mic real quick. Just bam, bam, bam. And it's going to take a reading on each step here, 50 kilohertz, all the way from this side of the graph to this side. Let me show you. I'll hit play. And now watch this. Ready? Now what does that show me? That shows me that my SWR is gradually increasing the higher I go towards AM, FM, and repeater operation on 10 meters. You can see down here at 28.5, I'm just about flat. Okay, and so I know that the higher I go towards 29.2 and higher, I'm going to be requiring to use my tuner. This is with no tuner, no tuner on in the radio. This is right into my antenna. We're going to go back down here to uh, closer into... I want to show you how resonant this thing is. Watch this. Ready? From 28.107 to 28.707. Ready? Okay, look at that. There's my sweet spot right here, 28.4. And that's exactly where I tuned that antenna because I want to be in the phone portion of sideband. And with a tuner, I could, you know, trick the radio, make it happy up in the FM portion. It's not too far off and the AM and FM uh, repeaters as well. So you can see here though that I'm pretty flat from, you could turn the dial here and, and look. Uh, you could turn the dial and you can see all the way down here to starting at, let's see, right here, about 28.247 and you can see the arrow on the bottom moving all the way up to roughly 28.55. I got a really, really low SWR, low reflected power. Let's go to, say, a band that's not this good. Let's go to 20 meters. Okay? And you can see I was playing with this before, but I had the wrong antenna hooked up. There's some signals here. So we're going to go um, 28, uh, well, the center, let's see. We'll turn this bar to nine bars. And we'll go right here, somewhere about here. And we're just going to go this 14.193 to 14.273 here we go okay you can see I'm pretty good there I'm about a 1.0 to 1.2 to 1 across that entire spectrum pretty broad banded I can go from uh, extra class portion uh, up you know through some of the general portion and maintain a very low SWR with no tuner on now I'll show you a band that I'm having problems with right now we'll go to 40 meters and we'll do um, We'll go down here, and I'll do 7.064 to 7.104. Watch this. We're going to go to, let's see, nine bars. There we go. Now you can see my SWR, and that's the tuner on. Let's do it again so you can see. Okay? You can see my SWR is through the roof on 40 meters. I'm having an issue with the antenna. So I can see here, without even disconnecting it and looking at my analyzer, I have a problem there. Um, we will go to another band. Let's try 17. I think I'm pretty good on 17. Let's try this. And we'll go uh, 18.113 to 18.153. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And I can change, that's five bars here, or I could change it to 13 bars. And I'll go uh, do this again. Okay, and you can see, because that's out of band here, uh, it's pretty much well on 17 meters. So that kind of gives you an idea um, of what your antenna is doing across the band. 
Let's go one more. Let's go to six meters. I'm not on the Yagi. I'm on the vertical. Okay, and this is a wide band here. So we're going to go to 50 kilohertz and 13 bars. And I will move this up here so that the center is... Let's go like this. Here we go. We'll go right to the bottom, from the bottom portion, 50.004 all the way to 50.64. So well past AM, okay? And uh, we'll do this now. Now you can see upwards, you know, to AM, if I turn this up like this and go up to 400, which is around AM, my SWR is still, it's still reasonable. It's under two to one right here. It's not that bad. But you can see when I, uh, you know, look at this, that I, I have an increasing, I could tell by the time I get to FM portion, it's going to be useless. So I would, you know, have to tune my antenna. I have it tuned, I guess, uh, low at the CW portion. So I need to uh, probably bring my antenna into resonance around 50.125, right in the middle of the sideband phone portion. And that'll give me a little more room up towards the 50.400 to be resonant without a tuner. So that's a pretty, and, and again, you could turn a dial here and see the arrow on the bottom where it's going. So you can see, well, what frequency is this down here? Right, roughly 50.064, I'm at like a 1.4 to 1. So a pretty neat stuff. And something I haven't used all the time, something I may have never shown you on video, but it's there. And that just adds a little bit more interest, like, wow, cool, here's another feature. you know. And we'll show you in the next video about you know another way of setting this screen up, other than having it like this. People have their screens all different ways, and they've mentioned that it looks no different than the way they bought it brand new. How come I haven't played with those and the filtering? So we'll check that out in the next video. Until then, check your SWR and check it often. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.